when it comes to the Sega Master System, its music capabilities for its time was pretty standard. And while it's not the best sounding machine out there, there's no denying it had its own charm and some pretty fantastic melodies. But in Japan, people had the opportunity to upgrade from the regular PSG tune to the new FM sounding technology. By either using the official FM unit add-on for the Sega Mark III or with the built-in chip already found in the MK2000 models of the console. It's a shame that this high-tech facility was restricted to that region only, and for the rest of us, we were stuck with that classic chiptune music. And even then, back in the day we somehow managed to grab a Japanese console, our cartridges would physically not fit in them, plus the pin layout was different. But in this day and age, we now have the power to modify our consoles to include FM music, thanks to Tim Worthington's FM board. I got my console modded in by a great guy called Simon Locke, who also fixed up my Mega CD to be brand new. If you ever need any work done to your consoles, give him a shout and he may be able to help you out. I'm a poet, and I did not realise that! Only a few selected games could make use of this new power, and if the game wasn't supported, it reverted back to PSG. Unfortunately for everyone, Sonic 1 never took that advantage. And that's where Valley Bell comes in to make that change, and create a patch to inject that potential into the game. It works on emulators perfectly well, but does it work on real hardware? I tried out a few FM capable games on my machine to check the mod was in good health. Everything that I threw at it was operational as expected. Thunderblade, Fantasy Star, Outrun 3D and more. But of course we're here for Sonic. And if you have a modded Master System and this game, it won't actually work. You still have to have the patched ROM, so you will need an EverDrive of some sort. So I will be using the Master EverDrive X7 for this test. With my American Master System Model 3010 equipped with Tim Worthington's FM board. Now don't go expecting Mega Drive level of quality. The Sega Master System still has its limitations to comply with. But logically, this should work. Okay, so we're going to Sonic Hacks and load up the Sonic 1 FM because I've been having the regular Sonic 1 running in the background up until now. And there we go. Yes, the game has taken the new instruments into account. So, so far so good. Now, Green Hill Zone sounds better to my ears already. And I'm quite glad that the sound effects are still using the PSG chip. So that's great. Uh, let's see if speed shoes work. Oh, all right, okay. Yes, the music does speed up. Brilliant. Wow, this sounds terrific. <laughs> Even in fast motion. Now, I've discovered something that looks to be like an Easter egg. If you die on Green Hill Act 2, like that, because I'm an evil guy, when the level restarts... You get an extract from the Sonic 1 and 2 soundtrack. Pretty neat. I also noticed that if you conclude the game with all emeralds, Marble Zone music would play during the credits instead. Apart from those two small differences, everything else plays as intended. No unique bugs or glitches were found, the game controlled the same as it did before, which is exactly what we want. But enough of me talking for the moment, how does the FM sound compare to its original counterpart? It's all subjective at the end of the day, but if you ever want to know how Sonic 1 for the Master System sounds like with an FM chip, then look no further. Well, I'm pretty amazed in how quickly we have to end this video, seeing as we gathered all of the evidence we need to answer that important question. Does Sonic 1 FM work on real hardware? Hey, uh, what oh, do you think you're doing? I love. Um, I'm just making sure that this works on real hardware. But that isn't real hardware! Well, yeah, of course it is! I mean, it's my modern but master system. you've modded it! Well, well, yeah, that was the only way to get then a FEM mod. this isn't a concrete test. Start again and do it right!
Well, she's given me the perfect excuse. This is the Sega Mark III, the very first rendition of the Master System only to be sold in Japan. This model is slightly behind the rest of the editions, with RGB not being amplified and the design being a bit more basic compared to the others. It also was not able to produce FM quality music, until you attach the official FM unit. I cannot believe I managed to obtain one of these, although we do have one issue. Yeah, the cartridges aren't going to fit. Luckily in today's times, there is now an adapter that can be bought with the use of this console, changing the pin layout so any European or North American games can adapt to this region's specifics. I will of course leave a link in the description if you're interested in buying one of these handy things. Just as we previously did, I thought it'd be best if we try out some genuine games, before we initiate with Sonic. Now apologies for the picture quality as the FM unit is composite only. But the important thing is, it appears to be fulfilling its task. But okay, how does Sonic sound on the Mark III? Ah, it appears we have FM music just as intended. I can't see a reason why it would fail. Hmm. What? Hang on a minute. Oh dear. Uh, um. Oh, I see. Oh. This presents a problem. There are no sound effects. It appears that the sound effects are completely missing. It turns out that the peripheral struggles to mix FM and PSG noises together, meaning you can only have the one. Other games like OutRun changes the sound effects to use the FM chip, and hence why they sound different. Whereas Sonic 1 uses the mixing method and keeps the sound effects reserved for the PSG chip. But seeming as the add-on cannot comply with that, you simply get nothing. I got up to Jungle Zone and gave up there because apart from the obvious, the rest of the features behaved correctly, and the composite signal was giving me a headache. So the game itself completely functions, as well as the FM tunes, but with the sound effects being completely absent, does Sonic 1 FM work on real hardware? Wait, 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 <sighs> what do you call this? Um, this is the Sega Mark III with the FM add-on. Yes, add-on. You have to include devices to make it work. Well, yeah, because without it, 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 will... it won't work exactly for the last time. Go and do it properly. Got it? Don't get married. What did you say? <laughs> the ultimate beast. The Sega Master System MK2000. RGB amplified. 3D glasses adapter pre-built, and of course, the FM technology already inside. Happy, happy now with this device? Of course, you finally satisfied me. Mm, thank goodness for, wait, what? Using my special adapter, I was able to test some compatible games, and as expected, it works. However, I do seem to be getting some static, which I'm sorry for, but I believe it's the specific console I purchased. It could be the aging components, or the cable quality, who knows. But my policy for today is, if it's working, then that's good enough for me. Okay, the moment of truth. Will this work the same way as it did on my modded Master System, or will it act in the same way with the Sega Mark III? Or will it work at all? Let's find out. Okay, for the crucial moment. We're off to a good start. Green Hill music is here, and so are the sound effects. Terrific! This is exactly what I wanted to see. It looks like the FM module got upgraded during its time, and is now fully capable of mixing between chips. All of the easter eggs are still within the feature list, and I managed to get to the end of the game with zero issues. As much as I'm in awe with this lovely Japanese console, there's not a lot more to differentiate between this one and my modified Master System. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed with the static that's coming from the audio channels, but as previously mentioned, this could be related to my unique device. Does anyone else with a Japanese model face similar issues? Let me know in the comments. I wasn't really prepared to go and buy another Japanese Master System to find out, but it's doing its job, so thumbs up for that. Now that I've complied with my wife's wishes, and I've locked her out of my studio, does Sonic 1 FM work on real hardware? 
if you have the MK2000 edition, all your consoles be modded with Tim Worthington's board, then yes. If you have the Sega Mark III with the FM unit, then due to insufficient sound effects, partially. Having the FM music by your side was really nice, it was just a shame that it was omitted from the European and American markets, but if you'd like to hear more of those compositions, then I'll be doing a live stream on my secondary channel in a couple of days. But otherwise, it's finally good to know that the whole world now has a choice if they want PSG or FM music for Sonic 1. And if you want to know if Alibel has any plans to convert Sonic 2 to make use of the feature, that may never see the light of day. And it's all my fault.